Hey everybody, this is Games Plus James, and welcome back to our Unity RPG tutorial series. Now in today's episode, we're going to take a look at adding some leveling to our players. So when we kill some bad guys, we'll get some experience and we can level up. And then in the future, as we add more stats to our player, like attack and defense and all that kind of stuff, we'll be able to use whatever level we're on to determine what stats we should have. So, if we're going to add some... Uh, leveling up stuff to our player we need to create a new script so let's go to our scripts folder I'm gonna right click and create a new c-sharp script that we will call player stats and what we're going to do we obviously will need to attach this script somewhere but rather than just attaching it to the player we're actually going to attach it to our canvas because we're going to be doing lots of stuff where we want to display different bits of text and things like that. So we're going to leave our player stats script attached to that to make it nice and easy to find um, for anything that we're going to want to show on screen. So we're just going to attach that here just so we have it already ready to go. Then we're going to start adding some, uh, some details to our script. So let's open our player stats script here in mono develop and Let's just go through the things that we'll need to know. So obviously we'll, we'll need to know what level is our player currently on. So we'll create that first. We'll use a player, uh, not a player, no, a public int that we'll call current level. We'll need to know how much experience our, our player currently has so that we know when to level up the player. So we'll add a public int um, current exp. And then we'll need to know what values we are going to use to level up our player. So how much, uh, at what experience level does the player level up? So say if you get to 20 experience points, you level up to level two, for example. So what we need to do then is create a, an array of numbers that will serve as how much experience we need to level up. Um, I don't think we've covered arrays yet in this series. Uh, I know I've certainly covered it in other videos here on YouTube, but just to cover the basics of it, an array is essentially just a list of um, a certain type of objects in the world. So we're gonna create a list of int values so that we can have a bunch of different ints that we can compare and see if our current EXP is higher than what a certain uh, threshold of EXP is, then we should level up. So we're gonna create a public int and then to make it an array, basically we put two little open and close square brackets like that. And then we'll call this, um, our, we'll just say two level up. So this is how much we'll need to level up. So just as an example, uh, if we save this and go back into the game and go back to our canvas, once it compiles down there, we'll get a few different things here. Uh, so obviously we want our player to start on level one, but we're going to leave it at zero for the moment just to demonstrate some stuff as we go further. Obviously we'll start our player off with zero experience because they're new to the game. And then we have our two level up array here. So an array, like I said, is basically just a, li a list of numbers. Uh, well, in our case it's a list of numbers because we made it an int array. So oh, I clicked off it there. Uh, so at the moment there's nothing in our array. Its size is zero, so there's nothing in it. So we're going to make it size 10. So it has 10 objects in the list here. And then each one of these is going to represent how many uh, experience we need to get to each level. So we start at level zero and we need, we're going to say we need zero experience to reach the next level. So we should immediately level up to level one. So then when we're on level one, to get to level two, we'll say we need about 20 experience. And it's, we'll add more as we go along here. So 50 for the next one, say, then 100, then 200, or maybe actually 250, because you always want to make these numbers kind of grow um, exponentially, almost. Uh, so 250, and then we'll go to 500, then 1,750, and keep going like this. But you can find your own kind of values, whatever you kind of feel most comfortable with in your game. Uh, but for now, those kind of rough numbers will do for us. So we've got a bunch of different numbers here. So now we have a whole load of numbers here in our array that we can check and see 
uh, how they compare to however much experience we have. So say if we kill an enemy and we get uh, 25 for killing that first enemy, then we know that that's greater than 20, so we should level up from level 1 to level 2. And that's basically how we're going to check it in our scripts here. So go back into our script. So we'll need to do just that. We'll need a way to check how much experience do we currently have and uh, is it more than what we need to level up. So the way we'll do that is just we go if our current experience is greater than or equal to in our two level up array so we'll say two level up what we want to do is go to the position of what our current level is so we start off at level zero and then we see element zero in the array here and um, we need zero to level up so say for example if we were to if we wanted to go specifically to level zero here if we were doing this if check so we put a zero in between the two brackets after two level up and there are square brackets there so after after we're leveling up or after we're doing that check straight away when the game starts we would know that our current experience is it is equal to uh, what is in position zero on level up so position zero here is uh, element zero which is the value of zero so if that's true then we want to level up our thing but say for example we were uh, we had 15 experience at the moment and we want to check that against uh, level uh, one so then it would look at element one here and it would say is 15 greater than or equal to what's at position one so what's at position one is at the value of 20 here and it would say okay no it's not so we won't run whatever code is in here and we know rather than just having to put in a hard code in a number here we always want to check it against what current level we have so we can type in here what is our current level so then every time we're checking in here it's saying okay is it greater than what we what our current level is and what we need then to get to the next level and if it is then what we want to do is level up the player so we can just say here current level plus plus so what plus plus does it just adds one onto the current level. It's the exact same as saying uh, plus equals one like that or current level equals current level plus one. So you see there's a variety of different kind of ways to write this same simple thing. Uh, so we we'll just say plus plus is nice and it's a super shorthand way of writing just add one on to current level. Um, and so we can demonstrate this in action now by jumping back into the game. So if we look at our current level, when we first play the game, we know that we're starting off with zero experience. And uh, if we're on level zero, so if our current level is zero here, then we know we need zero experience to level up. So what should happen is straight away when we run the game, we should jump onto level two. Or we should jump our current level to being level one. So there we go. It popped into level one just the way we want it to. So the next thing we obviously need is how to actually add some experience to our player. So we're going to need to add a little function down here. So below our void update, we'll add a uh, public void add experience, much like we did for when we wanted to hurt the player and stuff like that. We had to create an extra function down here. Uh, and what we're going to, what we need to pass into it is how much experience we'll need. So we'll say int experience to add and we'll have our curly brackets and then whenever this is called all this is wanted will want to do is say okay our current experience plus equals experience experience to add so however much experience we're going to add uh, we'll add that on to what our current experience is so when are we going to actually add some experience to the player when we know that whenever we want to actually add some experience is basically when we have uh, killed an enemy and what controls how much health our enemy has well obviously our enemy health oh, if we could scroll up it's just compiling there for a second uh, our enemy health manager so we're going to open up this here in mono develop i already have it open uh, and basically what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to be able to access the player stats uh, object in the world so we'll need to make a reference to it up here so we'll make a private player stats and we'll call it the player 
stats just to keep it nice and simple. Then in our start function here, we want to search for that player stats. So we'll say player stats equals find object of type uh, player stats like that. Uh, oop, I'm adding the wrong things in here. We need to put an uh, open and close bracket like that. And then what we need to do is basically when our health gets below zero for our enemy, what we'll do is say, okay, at that point, then we need to add some experience to our player. So we will say the player stats dot add experience. And then how much experience are we going to add? Well, obviously we want to be able to do this for lots of different enemy types. So we'll need to decide based on what the enemy is, how much experience to give. So we'll add an extra reference up here for public int uh, that we'll call experience. I will just say, shorten it down, exp to give like that. And then down here, when we're adding experience, we can send out however much our exp to give is. So we'll just finish that there and close it and hit our semicolon. And then we'll go back into the game and now if we go to the prefabs for our slimes, rather than going through each one, uh, we'll go to the prefab once it's finished compiling and we'll go to our slime red and then down here, we'll decide how much experience to give. We'll say, we'll just say, actually we'll just say 25 to keep it nice and simple. Um, and then what we should see, if we go back to our canvas here and we just keep an eye on our level. So we play the game and our level should immediately bump up to level one like that and then if we kill an enemy oh, without him killing us hopefully oh that might be harder than <laughs> that might be harder than i originally thought we're gonna have to improve our attack animations uh we we covered how to do it on a very basic level but at the moment it's very hard to hit an enemy so we're we are going to cover um a better way to do that in an upcoming episode uh so let's kill this guy uh, ooh, kill him. There we go. We killed him. So our current experience went up to 25 and our level went up to level 2. So if we kill one more, we should be able to get to level 3. If I can do it without killing myself. So there we go. We killed that guy. And our experience, we got, we got 50, which is exactly equal to how much we need to get to level 3. So we're on level 3. So how can we uh, display this information to the player? Well, at the moment... Although it's not actually doing anything for our world, it is important to let our player know uh, what level they're on and how they're leveling up. So we're just going to add a very simple little uh, extra bit of uh, text to our canvas here. So I'm just going to zoom out so we can see our canvas. So we've got our HP and our slider up in the corner here. So let's just duplicate our HP text here and we're going to then update it in our UI manager. So I'm just actually going to rename this text to be HP just so we can keep track of it. Then I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to drag it down to here and I'll rename this to uh, level and then in the box here I'm going to type just level and I'll just say 99 for now it doesn't really matter what we put in because that's going to be replaced once the game is run and then we'll go uh, if we go look at our canvas here on our canvas we have our UI manager script attached so I'm going to we, we've opened the scripts normally to go into our scripts folder but I'm going to open it here by double clicking on UI manager and I'll do the exact same thing. It'll open it up here in Mono Develop. Uh, just give it a second. There we go. I already had it open, so it kind of delayed for a second. So on our UI manager, now we want to update our current level with what's in our player stats. So we're updating our health down here. Um, just constantly keeping it up to date. So we'll do the same thing with our level. So on, we obviously need to know, uh, make a reference to our player stats here. So we will create a private player stats and it will call the, the PS to keep it nice and short. So it's, we know that's the, the player stats. And then in our start function, we'll obviously need to get that component. So we know that our player stats is on the same uh, object as our UI manager. So what we can do is say the PS equals get component player stats like that. And we can save that um, and then obviously we're going to need to we're going to be making changes to the uh, bit of level text on our canvas so much like we made a reference to the HP text back up here we're going to make a reference here to uh, public text 
that we'll call level text. And although we haven't hooked it up yet, we will in a minute, but we know that that's where we want to make our changes to. So then in the update loop here, after our HP is updated, we can update our level the exact same way. So we can say level text dot text is equal to level uh, colon uh, and then we close that semi uh, with a semi, uh, no, a quotation mark, that's the word I was looking for. Uh, so our quotation mark, then we'll add on what our current level is. So that'll be our the PS dot current level. And we hit our semicolon, save that. And if we go back in here now, we should be able to just hook that up and then we should be seeing our level being kept up to date and keeping our players in the know of what's going on. So once it compiles, there we go, we've got our slot here. So we'll drag level over into that slot and I will hit play. And there we go. So we've got our level one here. We'll kill an enemy and we bump up to level two. Kill another one, we should, whoop. No, if I could hit him with the sword. There we go, we're on level three. So our levels are being kept nice and updated. Our player knows uh, where they are and we they know that they're probably getting a bit stronger um, as they're leveling up. So we can be like, we can also increase the player's HP and stuff like that as they level up through the game. Uh, so we're gonna look at doing that kind of stuff in the future. But I think we might actually take a look at uh, improving our attack animation in the next episode because it's getting a little bit annoying having to kill these guys. So thanks for watching this episode and I'll be back soon with some more RPG tutorial goodness. Thanks for checking out this episode and if you want even more Games Plus James goodness make sure you hit those subscribe and like buttons. You can also find me on Twitter and Facebook by following the links on screen where you can find out all the latest news about the channel. And if you want to help support the show check out the Patreon page where you can get exclusive content in return for helping make the channel even better. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.